I found six free Google certifications that lead to high paying jobs that you can take right now. Yes, that's right. Google, one of the most powerful companies in the world, made these certifications available for anybody to be able to take them. And the reason for that is these certifications cover skills and jobs that Google and other big tech companies have a ton of trouble <laughs> filling, right? So there's lots of demand for these types of jobs and there's not enough people that have the skill set to fill the roles. And that's why Google went ahead and and created these certifications. And I'm gonna be going over the best ones in this video, and I'm gonna be talking about really important things that you need to know about each one of them. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. Now, cybersecurity is one of those jobs where there is a massive amount of demand. I mean, think about it. How many times have you heard about companies that got hacked? Sometimes their money is stolen or even worse, their data gets stolen. And data is more valuable than oil or gold. And that's why hackers try to get at it. And so there's a massive amount of demand for this skill set. And there's not enough people who actually have the skills. And that's where this certificate comes in. So so it says that it'll take about six months to finish it at seven hours a week of work. However, almost all of the reports online show that it's much quicker than this. Usually, even if you're just doing it part time, you can finish it in about one to three months. And they basically take you through a process and you go through different modules where you learn about the important aspects of cybersecurity. And then you're going to go ahead and build a portfolio using the modules. And this portfolio is key in the technology industry because a lot of jobs in tech, you don't need a college degree, you don't need previous experience, but you do have to have the skills. And the only way to prove you have the skills if you don't have a college degree or previous experience is to build a portfolio. Now, just to name a few jobs that you might go into after you take this certificate, junior security analysts make 51 to $81,000 a year. Security operations center operators make 45 to $72,000 a year. And then some mid-level roles you might go into would be a cybersecurity analyst that makes about 84 to $132,000 a year, or a cybersecurity incident responder, which makes around 67 to $117,000 a year. And then a senior level role you might make your way into down the line would be a director of cybersecurity, which makes $217 to $369,000 a year. Damn! Right, so these are some insanely high paying jobs. Even at the entry level, it's still really good. And there's lots of room for growth once you get some experience and build your skill set. And there's lots of different companies that hire for these types of roles. I'll put some up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like to. And yeah, this is an amazing certificate training to take. And it is hosted hosted on Coursera. Hey guys, in the editing process right now, but quick pause to give you a special deal from Coursera. You can make your next career move with confidence with Coursera Plus. That means unlimited access to learning programs from top companies and universities, including Google, Microsoft, Meta, Yale, and more for less than $1 per day. For a limited time only, get $100 off your annual subscription to Coursera Plus. If you're interested in starting a new career in a high growth field, you'll gain the freedom to explore skills and careers like cybersecurity, data analytics, and more. Click the link on the description as well as the pinned comment below. Now the next one is gonna be the Google UX Design Professional Certificate. So UX stands for user experience. And this is where you would basically design the interface that someone would see if they use a website or a software. And this can actually make a massive difference in the success of a product. I mean, think about it like this. Have you ever used a piece of software where it was just incredibly oh difficult to use? God. You couldn't find anything. You always had to call tech support. Tech and it was just a huge pain. You probably didn't use that product for long. Then on the other hand, there's products out there that just seem so intuitive and they're just so easy to use and you almost never have to call tech support. Those are the types of products that people stick to and they continue using for years. And same thing on websites if you're trying to get somebody to buy a product. Some websites are just really nice to look at. It's also easy to find everything. And when you're on the website, you just feel like you're having a good experience. And chances are with those good products and good websites, they they hired some really good UX designers. And that's what you can learn how to do with this certificate. Now this one says it takes about six months to finish with about 10 hours of work per week. Again, almost all of the reviews and self-reported data shows that it's much quicker than that. It's probably something more like one to three months. And some of the career paths you might go into as well as how much they pay are going to be UX design intern, and they make about 55 to $93,000 a year. Digital design interns make about 46 to $78,000 a year. Some mid-level roles would be UI UX designers 
and they make about 70 to $120,000 a year. And then a senior level role would be a lead UX designer and they make about 117 to $175,000 a year. Now these are extremely high paying jobs, especially considering that UX design is actually basically just being an artist, right? And there's not that many high paying artist related jobs out there. So there's lots of people that have had success with the certificate. There's many people who have left reviews and testimonials online. You can check Reddit or the YouTube comment sections of videos about these things just to see comment after comment of people who have been able to get a job or have just had a good experience taking them. And yeah, this is another really good one. By the way, I did a review video on almost all of these. So you can probably just check my channel out if you're interested on each individual one. And yeah, this one's good. Another great option. Next is going to be the Google Digital Marketing and E-Commerce Professional Certificate. So this is another one that you can actually take for free. I like free. And by the way, with some of the certificates on Coursera, you have to actually pay to take them. And then with some of them, you can take them for free. But if you want to actually finish it and get the certificate and some of the other perks and benefits they offer, you do have to pay Coursera. And it's usually about $49 a month, although sometimes they offer promotions throughout the year. But for what you get, $49 per month is an absolute steal, especially considering college degrees cost $100,000 and boot camps that help you get into jobs usually cost between five and $30,000. So this one takes about six months with 10 hours a week of work. But again, self-reported data shows it's much quicker than that between one to three months. And I think everybody knows what digital marketing is. Basically, it's marketing that happens online. So an example of digital marketing would be the ads that pop up in YouTube videos. Another example would be the ads that pop up on Google. Another example would be websites and creating SEO optimized content. And then another example would be creating content online. So YouTube videos like this, that's technically a part of digital marketing. It's called content marketing. So some roles that you could go into here would be a social media coordinator. They make about 40 to $58,000 a year. Another one would be an e-commerce customer service representative. They make about 35 to $50,000 a year. Some mid-level roles would be a digital marketing specialist. They make about 51 to $79,000 a year. And an e-commerce marketing manager, they make about 77 to $118,000 a year. Or an SEO analyst, and they make about 57 to $97,000 a year. Then a senior level role would be a director of e-commerce, and they make about 137 dollars to $246,000 a year. So here are some opportunities for jobs like this. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like to. Definitely tons of different companies out there are hiring for these types of jobs. One of the most in-demand skills that you could possibly learn. There's also a lot of opportunities for becoming a freelancer. For instance, there's an article about Alex Markovich, and he's a freelance digital marketing manager in Toronto that charges anywhere between $150 to $3,000. $995 on Fiverr for his services. And a lot of the time, digital marketing managers will charge $250 an hour as freelancers. I like the sound of that. So there's a lot of opportunity here, whether you want to get a job, start freelancing, or even starting your own business. So yeah, another great one. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, share it with a friend or a family member or someone else who just needs to get a job. Basically, anyone who needs to see it, go ahead and share this video with them. I compare my analytics on YouTube to some of my friends' analytics, and my videos get shared a lot more than the average YouTube channel. And that's the way I like it. I think this is a great way to grow the channel. That's what I like. That's what I like. I think it's awesome that people discover my channel, they love the content, and then they just go ahead and share it. And it's kind of like a grassroots way of growing. And I don't have a big marketing department on this channel. It's, you know, basically just me talking to a camera. And then I have a team to edit the videos and help me with the scripts. So sharing this is always appreciated. Next is going to be the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. And this is actually one of my three favorite Google certificates. And I actually saved the best three for last because I'm going to talk about my three favorites. But the first one is going to be Data Analytics. So this one, again, says it takes about six months at 10 hours a week. Self-reported data shows one to three months. Sometimes people are even able to finish it faster than that. Now, data in general is just super valuable. Anything that involves data, there's lots of jobs out there for it. But you do have to have the skills, right? You're not just going to get a job walking off the street. You have to have the skills and prove that you have the skills. And the way to do that is to study online and then create a portfolio. And that's exactly what this certificate training does for you. And some of the entry-level jobs you can get into are going to be data entry analyst, and they make about thirty-six to fifty-two thousand dollars a year. Another one is a data support analyst; they make about thirty-five to fifty-three thousand dollars a year. Some of the mid-level jobs are data analysts; they make sixty-six to one hundred and three thousand dollars a year. Then there's business intelligence analysts; they make about eighty to one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars a year. Then a more senior level role would be a lead data analyst, and they make one hundred and thirteen to one hundred and seventy thousand dollars a year. So here are some companies that often hire for data-related roles, and yeah, this one is 
is amazing. Like I said, I did an entire video breaking it down. So if you want more information on it, you can check that video out. And also if you wanna check these certificates out, I'll put them down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And also if you haven't done it already after watching most of the video, this is a super useful channel where I make super useful content on how to escape the traditional nine to five and work online. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And that way you won't miss out on any of the amazing content that I have planned to come out in the next few days. Next is gonna be another one of my top three favorites and that's the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. So this was actually the one that started it all. This is the first one that came out when Google sort of partnered with Coursera and it was massively popular. Millions and millions of people have taken it and it has some amazing reviews. So this is another one. It says six months at 10 hours a week. This one, I've heard people getting it done in like seven to 10 days. Now, does that mean you're gonna get it done in seven to 10 days? Probably not, but you can very realistically get this one done in like a few weeks to a few months. This one, just like all of the other ones are beginner friendly and some of the entry level roles you can get into would be help desk technician. They make about 40 to $57,000 a year. Desktop support reps make about 47 to $68,000 a year. Then some mid-level positions would be IT support analysts. They make about 53 to $82,000 a year. And systems administrators make about 80 to $120,000 a year. Then a senior level position would be the IT director of operations, and they make about 175 to $278,000 a year. Here are some companies that often hire for these types of positions. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video if you'd like. And yeah, this is another amazing one. Has incredible ratings online. And again, you can look at the ratings on Coursera itself. You can look at people talking about it on Reddit, and you can look at people talking in the YouTube comment sections of different videos. And you're gonna see that just about everybody has good things to say about these certificates. Next, let's talk about the Google Project Management Professional Certificate. And again, this is one of my top three favorites. So project management is all about the planning, execution, and risk management of a project. So this is where a company has some kind of new initiative, maybe a new project, Project or new product that they're launching, and they will put you in charge of that project. So it's kind of like being a mini entrepreneur with training wheels, because you're gonna need to know a little bit about marketing and sales and the product itself, and you're also gonna need to be pretty good at leadership. So you're wearing a lot of different hats here. And depending on your personality, that might be a good thing because you like a challenge, or it might be a bad thing because you don't wanna get stressed out. But if it's a good thing, this is an amazing certificate training program to take. And they say it takes six months at 10 hours a week, but realistically, most people can get this done in one to three months. Now I will say with this one, I am a big fan of it, but there's other certifications that you'd also want to take such as the CAP M. So make sure you do your research on that. But with this one, some entry level jobs you might be able to land would be project coordinator and they make 44 to $62,000 a year. Then there's project manager trainees and they make 53 to $84,000 a year. Then some mid-level positions would be project manager. They make 77 to $129,000 a year. Then there's program managers. They make 83 to $140,000 a year. And and there's project management consultants and they make 101 to $164,000 a year. Then a senior level role would be head of PMO and they make about 161 to $248,000 a year. So yeah, as you can see, great options at the lower levels, great options at the mid levels and great options at the senior level. So it pays well right off the bat and you get the opportunity to move into positions where you can make even more money. So like I said before, at the time of making this video, you can take these certificate training programs for free. However, if you wanna actually get the certificate certificate, get access to some of the other perks and benefits, or you want to take some of the other Google professional certificate programs, you are going to want to sign up for Coursera. And I'm a huge fan of Coursera. I've featured them on the channel many times, and I literally just hear nothing but good things about Coursera. So like I said, I'm going to have the links down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. You can check them out. And if you're curious, I did make a video that went viral where I go over all the different Google professional certificates, and it's the Google certificate tier list. And you can check that out by clicking right here.